what is up you guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video to my left we have a gorgeous evo x the 4b11 Woo! behind him you see the q50 Alyssa in that up ahead we got my boy javi and his honda my boy javi shade looking clean as ever going to be the miso fresh times 38 car mods cars and coffee so stay tuned you're not going to want to miss it lineup is looking fierce right now now it's been a while since i've attended a cars and coffee and up ahead is a cop so let me roll my windows down as we pass the cop because you can see him as i was saying it's been a while since i attended a cars and coffee so it's always dope to be out and about especially when you're cruising out with the homies but also because I have no idea what to expect. We made it just in time, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy all the cars that are present today. It goes Mustang ST350, which is beautiful. S2K, we got a Scatty on the left. I'm gonna give you guys a full review on all the cars that are here for now. You see our boy Lonzo, but shout out to the boy. GTRs, everything, you guys name it. We are gonna look for some parking. You even got the classics out here, but we are gonna post up, find some parking with the whole crew. There you see it, the boy Lonzo, right there. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were early. From the looks of it, we are not early. We pulled up later than expected. I assume all the parking in there is filled up. There is no parking, but that is a beautiful 370 right there. Shit, yeah, the whole line up out here. It is dummy packed out here. Ooh, the Datsun. Damn, is that a E46? They really got all the builds out today, all the line. They even brought one on the trailer and everything. They got the Ferrari there, 370. God damn, that shit is beautiful. We've officially pulled up. And as you guys can see, I got the privilege of parking next to the goat. Henry himself, follow him on the Instagram. Never really see these out anymore. And it's supercharged. The E90. Let me hear it. Yup, S58. The SS. Event. What are your thoughts on V8s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's more of a Prius type of guy. Yeah. The new GR. Oh, so this one is nice. This orange goes crazy. Oh, oh man, the BQ. Damn, all the BQs out today. Oh, with the bumper cut and everything. F82 with the Bay Optic lights. Very nice. Very nice. For real, and the GRS 370Z coming, looping back around. Fire. Clean, super nice. There we go. He made it, I'm gonna tag his IG down below. Can't have a Cars and Coffee without an actual truck pulling up. Very nice, very clean. Shout out to Lexus for hosting us. No, I'm just kidding. We're here, ooh, NSX. I don't know about you guys, how you feel on these new Accords, but these are really nice in my opinion not to mention that they have a 2.0 liter engine boosted we got the 350z accompanied by another 2.0 accord with some fire wheels and the carbon beautiful g37 <laughs> the boy no way it's okay lo nuevo repping repping <laughs> Boy pop. You guys know the homie. Give him a, a follow on the IG. Ooh. Bumper cut. The arrow. Track spec. Very nice. Check this out on some BBSs. Euro Boutique. Check them out. Red Guts. POV. Oh. He's got the wrap on it. Sponsored by Mario. 
We need this thing at the Universal Studios set. Mario would drive. The boy himself, 350. If you guys don't follow him on IG, check him out. Wide body and everything. We saw this car last time at the car meet, but I did not check the hood. Fair warning. Johnny's hit. This is the stock. Yeah, it's stock, bro. Is it stock, right? Nothing done to it? From factory. From factory. factory. Que uno, que? 200 horsepower? 200. Quantos caballos? 150 por lo máximo. <laughs> this shit is beautiful. Beautiful engine bay. Carbon. Color matched. Beautiful wheels interior. On air. And then we got the livery wrapped FRS. Oh. With the veal side front bumper. Now we've seen this car a couple of times, but I can never get over it. E92. Full custom wide body kit. The bucket seats. The cage. The wing. Chassis mounted and everything. Not to mention it's a V8. The Audi S4 in the back. Just the size of these lips is insane. But the dash, digital camo, carbon steering wheel, DCT, these seats. On tire, 370Z with the bumper cut, carbon trunk. You smell the E? Oof. Fat tire on this one with the Mickeys. The rotary engine. Can't ever go wrong with an RX7 or this beauty right here. Beautiful Datsun, ITBs, clean and simple, nothing too drastic, you can see there's like the minimal stuff that's necessary, super nice. This 240 with a DE engine swap, angle kit on it, the 350Z anniversary wheels and powder coat white, interior is looking really mint, clean, harness bar in the back, energy steering wheel, over fenders, Blast pipes, the whole nine yards on this one. We have our lineup of all the Hondas, the Type R's, <clears throat> FA5. This one is beautiful. BBK, bucket seats, quick release, and then we move to the GTRs. Side by side, this right here, our boy John's. Super aggressive with the carbon. Canards, the hood, TEs, the side skirts, all the way back to the actual trunk and the wing, APR wing, the GS lineup, side by side, static with the workmeisters tugging in the rear. This is right here, and then we got a stock body, but don't be fooled by the stock body. Right hand drive, GS. This was luxury back in the day. We have the whole bike lineup. I don't know too much about bikes, but I know I can't ride one, so we moved to the F80X front bumper conversion. Carbon hood. Let me know what you guys think about this. I think, you know, pretty creative, something different. You definitely don't see this on every car. And I believe once finished, once prepped and everything, it'll definitely stand out. G37. Another G37. We are going to be running a across a couple of BQs. 5.0 on some fat tire with the Forge Stars. But that fat, fat Nitto in the rear. The color stands out as well. He's got the stock performance front wheels. The SI on some three-piece wheels. Not to mention the canards up front. Not too many Kias that you see modified, but those wheels are very, very beautiful. They stand out with the color and everything. Roof rack, the engine bay. Powder coated and everything. But that front end just menacing. And they're really like licked into these. But you guys can see the Brahm seats, harness bar, forged carbon steering wheel. The interior or that center console with the air vents remind me of like the AMG class, C class Benzos where they have the actual circled vents. Carbon fenders, carbon hood. Beautiful cold start. The handles, the side mirrors, diffuser, and then 370Z. I love the Amuse front bumper. Forge stars on these look absolutely amazing. Or are these ESRs? 
it might be ESRs, but they got the E, the Forge Star design. Color pops out. Carbon all around. This car reminds me of my boy Jose. Hey. Only thing my boy Jose is missing is these carbon fenders. I know he's on bags and everything. This one is clean. The color, everything just pops. Oh, what? Supercharged. Still in top mount. You don't really see these kits anymore. This was kind of like the first gen of still in superchargers. Belt driven. So you definitely need that carb, uh, that hood cut out. I wonder what this thing is pushing. Stan Stout 350Z with the canards, HR hood. The interior on this one. <laughs> Roll cage energy seats. Oh, authentic Alexander. Damn, just VQ after VQ. Carbon on carbon, Cosmos racing wheels, powder coated Nismos. What? Those you don't see too often. And then we got the drift builds coming through, sliding through. Damn, it's just more VQs and more VQs. Kinetics intake, the rev up edition. You think this can take you? This will probably give you a cool bus length, huh? Look at this right here. Oh, I did not see that. <laughs> oh, that for shit. Sure. On the sedan, too. This thing probably hooks and hooks. I did not notice that. It's an alternator, bro. Oh, you're right. Sorry, it's an alternator, and it's an extra alternator. VQ.RevUp.06. Follow the build. Check it out. This. Wait, no, this is a four banger, though, isn't no, it? Four. Yeah, these are the four bangers. I know these, although they are four bangers, they are turboed. You see the front mount and intercooler. I don't know how much these would push, but still, these are beautiful. I love how the hood literally opens all the way up. Carbon hood, carbon fenders. I believe these are, I don't know what wheels these are, but you guys see the IG, check them out. I love this trunk. I love the duck bill look, especially when it's incorporated into the actual trunk. You guys can see some of them have the duck bill bolted on, but when it's fully integrated, I think it gives it a cleaner look altogether. These fenders though, these things are wide and full carbon. Our luxury sports cars, Lexus on some TEs, carbon hood, our Q60s, 3.0, crazy how bags right. make such a difference but being all the way to the ground with those carbon definitely stands out the color on this as well the all-motor Honda what was this like a b18 I want to say yeah let me see sometimes it's engraved oh yep b18 full arrow all right if you guys know my boy Johnson you guys know he had an accord and I think one time he showed me this guy's profile but this thing is coming along the Kanze wheels in the rear the carbon I guess you would say duck bill in this case diffuser but that rear fitment is looking nice man beautiful beamer that carbon hood reminds me of the E90 you see the the merchant side carbon duck bill trunk this right here super nice not many that you see high caliber auto styling check out Danny and cars another one posted right behind always had a soft spot for these but not sure whether or not to jump in the three p wheels a 326 wing just fits these cars perfectly it just it just goes well with it that rear end oh this screams japanese jdm like it just it just shouts it can't go wrong with the blitz 03s on the 240 these are stunning absolutely beautiful seems to be either polished or triple chromed i think they're triple chromed but these if you know about these wheels you know the hype and you know everything that's got to do with these actual wheels this thing is wow now oh, i mean slammed i I'm, i gotta be he's got to be on air without a doubt has to be on air but this thing is super clean lineup keeps going but i do want to check out is that 240 but also that r32 back there <laughs> workmeister 3p wheels this is just just don't see oh my god is that a ferrari is that the ferrari evo no it's an f8 f8 a bunch of cars still pulling in and everything let's get back to this thing though tome oh man this is goes right here would you own one my friend i'm more of an r33 person r33 yeah really that's crazy see i'm more of an r32 but which one was the go to the go? You know, dude, Fast and Furious, R34. Exactly, baby. all day long. The clear tails on the F82. Super clean, work in motion wheels. Lap door front lip. G37. 
That shit goes crazy. Super fire build. There's still cars on cars on cars pulling through. It's just, oh, there goes the rear bumper. Oh! It's just cars on cars right now, man. Living life out here. Full engine bay, polished and everything, color matched, down to the dress of bolts. You guys can tell front wheels are a, a darker shade, and as the car fades back, you see that the rear lips are rather light. One, it's an E46. Two, it's a 2JZ with a turbo. Emola Red E46, the Recaro seats on some TEs. This thing is gorgeous. Fuck. This one's done right. Chris, what do you think this is pushing? Cool, five? Yeah, five. Five? This is something I would definitely want to hear start up, but overall, super fire build. The seats, the Recaros, these are, fuck, man. Yeah, it's super okay. snug in there, too. Terra. Supra. And then we move to the Bel Air, this thing. When life was simpler and all you needed was a remote switch to hop, polished engine bay, can never go wrong with that. A must have on these classics. But just look at that engine. That thing is beautiful. That thing is really nice. Oh my god. What is that, a 510? Let me hear it. Damn. The supercharged 350s, 370Z. You see the E, Brom seats. <laughs> that fat tire. Right? For real. R triple eights. Check them out on the IG. And then we approach this Mazda, which I honestly confused for a Datsun, but you guys can see two rotor. Plain and simple. Like this car back in the day was all that you needed to get to and from your job. Z Supra, quick pull. Right, ecstatic. Fast. Fast guy. Oh, hard braking. on this one. <laughs> Damn. Look at that. The F30 making its way out. ever with the R32 up ahead damn how did I miss this that less swapped on the Datsun yeah, the BBKs, the Volk racing wheels. And now we enter the Volk. 38 car mods, car shop, GTR to our left, 370Z to our right, the Supra. Carlos, if you're watching this, bro, I'm gonna have to take those, those splits off of you. Because these, whew, on the Supra just sit too nice. Carlos, how much for the wheels, bro? <laughs> you see, a kiss for me and they're mine. Fire! Everything just changes with the lighting. This thing is fire. Front bash bar. Kanze's in the front with that drift camber, wide body and everything. We have Mario's GTR. Damn, the lighting, man. But this VQ right here, with the burnt chrome engine bay. 
rotiform wheels, clean, super clean interior. Stock as ever, carbon steering wheel, the LCD center dash. It's just the color on this, man, it just pops. Color shifting wrap on this one, this thing is insane. Let me show that past the sneaker head in the bay on YouTube. Yeah, literally, right here. Mario's 370Z over here. Now, I've seen this car plenty of times at car meets, car shows, and everything, but can never get enough. Nismo, Recaro seats, carbon everywhere, but his trunk setup is just something out of the ordinary. Custom, fully custom. Quick walk around for the GTR on air, airlift performance, and the trunk for the GTR. The beautiful work emotion wheels. Super clean interior, just basic interior. I know Mario though, he's definitely gonna put a touch on this car and sooner or later start installing cosmetic modifications for the interior because as you guys can tell, the wrap is already stunning enough, not to mention the wheels, the carbon. Mario's GTR behind me, Mario's 370 behind me, but just all the builds in general in the shop. It's crazy to know that you know Mario came from a small shop and just has blown up to what he has now. And the lighting, I can't get over the aesthetic. This is like goals right here, this is just dreams. I was talking to Mario, although it is a lot of hard work, as long as you're dedicated, it is a passion that you want to continue and hold on to. Exiting the shop now, super chill. If you guys need any work done, BQs, anything, tap in with Mario, 38 car mods. They got it all. If you ever need wheel specs, they're right there. TEs, super beautiful. Carbon fiber all around. Straight enthusiast Mugen. Roll cage. Rear seat delete. Damn. This is beautiful. Mugen wing as well. With the equipped wheels on air. Just clean and simple. As is. Stock body, stock paint from what it looks like. Redone trunk setup. That fitment is nuts. <laughs> they, get, they got the ride, but we are calling this calling this vlog off. Are we gonna scrape? Are we gonna scrape? Estamos terminando el vlog. Closing it out. Entiende, verdad? Aquí estamos. Somos famosos. Closing out the cars and coffee. Gonna grab some food. I'm gonna let my boy close out the vlog. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And what? No, no sé. Keep it authentic, y'all. Eso, hey, en español.